Are you going to go see the movie about a billionaire using his expensive toys to rein in a blue and red superhero because the potential for damage outweighs the benefit they may provide to society? What about the one where the White House is under attack and a guy tries to save the president? Surely you've heard about the animated Ant movie. No. Well, did you hear about the other one? If you've ever heard about a new movie and thought, didn't they already make that three months ago? Then you are familiar with the phenomenon known as twin films. Are they the final nail in the coffin of Hollywood originality? Where after exhausting every single sequel, reboot, and adaptation they could muster, the studios are forced to blatantly rip each other off? No, Hollywood is the innocent victim to the inescapable laws of mathematics. We'll see why soon, but first, happy birthday! I have to admit, if we ignore leap days, then there's only a 1 in 365 chance today is your birthday. But I didn't want to take the risk of forgetting. While we were on the topic, post your birthday in the comments and tell me if someone has the same one. If 70 people comment, I'd be willing to bet that a pair of you will share a birthday. Wait, so I'm willing to risk that there will be a pair with the same birthday, but I won't assume today is not your birthday? Am I crazy? Well, maybe, but it would not be for that reason. How many people do you think will have to comment before there is a 50% chance of a pair? Keep your guess in mind. The main issue people have when thinking about this problem is that they get caught up in the idea of someone having the same birthday as them, which, if 22 people have already commented, you might think you have a 22 in 365 chance someone will share yours. But we are forgetting that it's possible a pair in those 22 already share a birthday. It's easier to think about what the chances are nobody shares a birthday. With 366 people and only 365 birthdays, then there has to be at least one pair. With 365 people, it is possible to have no pairs, but it is as likely as throwing 365 pigeons and expecting them all to land in different holes. With only one person, there is zero chance there will be a pair. And with two, there is a 1 in 365 chance they will have the same birthday. If we want to figure out what is the probability that they have different birthdays, we need to take the inverse by subtracting the result from 1, giving us 364 out of 365. If we add a third person, there is a 363 out of 365 chance that their birthday is different from the other two. The probability that the first two have different birthdays and the third has a unique birthday is calculated by multiplying the two probabilities together. To determine the probability of four people all having unique birthdays, you just need to multiply the probability of the fourth person being born on a different day with a result from the last step. This pattern continues. We need to remember that what we calculated is the probability that nobody shares a birthday. So if we want to find if anybody shares a birthday, we need to subtract this number from one. If we do the math, we find that if we have 10 people, there's almost a 12% chance some people will share a birthday. That is a lot higher than you might have thought it was. So how many people do you need for the probability to be above 50%? Only 23. With 70 people, the chance some people share a birthday is over 99.9%, .9%, which is more likely than today not being your birthday, which is about 99.7%. This problem is sometimes called the birthday paradox, but it is not really a paradox. The mathematics is self-consistent. The issue comes from how people think about the problem. So what does this have to do with twin films? If we model film topics as the birthdays and the films as the people, we can take what we learned from the birthday problem and apply it to understand why there are more twin films than we would expect there to be. We should first acknowledge that all models are wrong, but some models are useful. The beauty of the birthday problem is that there is a large but well-defined number of equally probable independent events. With movie topics, there is no good way to measure how many different ideas there are or what is the probability that each will be made into a movie. As well, there is some evidence that certain twin films are the result of people bringing over ideas between studios or attempts to compete with each other. However, there are enough examples of twin films that many of them are simply the result of people coming to the same ideas from different directions. All that being said, we can take what we learned from the birthday problem and say that the number of twin films should be higher than we expect it to be. Given how many movies are released in a year, it makes sense that a pair should have a striking resemblance. We only take note of the movies that are similar, and we get caught up in trying to determine the odds that a specific pair of movies are the same, and forget that we would be asking the same questions if the twins were another pair. Okay, so maybe twin films and the birthday paradox are related, but what does any of this have to do with the thumbnail of this video? I'm glad you asked. CGP Grey released a video about the transporters in Star Trek asking uncomfortable philosophical questions, such as which copy would be real, if the machine malfunctioned and duplicated a person. This led to Jake Roper from Vsauce 3 
releasing a video asking for advice on what to do since he had been working on a video about the very same topic. CGP Grey released a video encouraging Jake Roper to release it. He also admitted he had trouble following through with his videos when the same thing happened to him. Encouraged by the response, Jake released his video. What struck me about this is many creators said that the phenomenon happens to them very often, much more often than you would expect. This made me think about the birthday paradox and create this video. In the birthday model, the birthdays are the video topics, and the people are each individual video. Since a creator will create many videos for their channel, they need to be prepared for this to happen much more often than they think it would, and audiences need to be accepting of them when they do. You can check out my example of releasing a video about the same thing at the same time. Both videos discuss the barber paradox, even though technically neither video really had to. One comes from the mathematical perspective, while the other comes from the philosophical perspective. If you found this video interesting, you might also like one of these. Thanks for watching!